welcome back to my channel or hey if you're new my name is Jackie and today we're gonna be doing my June BoxyCharm unboxing. BoxyCharm is a subscription box with four to five full-size products which is $21 and what I'm gonna be doing is demonstrating the products I get and how they work. I can lie to you and say I haven't looked inside but girl I'm lying because I know exactly what is inside. I know I look pretty like bland or undone and that's because of the stuff that I saw inside I am gonna be testing them out on my face and I'm gonna be telling you how they work I have seen them but I have yet to use them so if you like to see what I got and how they work just keep on watching this is what the box looks like this month's box theme is called downtown charm super cute and the first thing I see is this palette and it's called the real herb playbook it's a shadow palette. This little card, so it tells you everything you need to know. The eyeshadow palette, you can either receive one, two, or three, so apparently I guess everyone's gonna get different ones. And the retail price is $28. This is what the box looks like. And these are the shadows. Um, I don't know, like, there's a lot of shimmer in here. I don't know if you can actually make like a full look out of this, but. Let's see how they work. I'm gonna go in with strong on my as my transition shade just because there's no other shade I could use that's not shimmer. Okay, off the bat, honestly I don't like it so much. Like it's very cool tone on my face and it's really hard to build up. I'm like stabbing the damn palette. Psych, you thought you were gonna get pigment. Nope. But maybe it's just that color, I don't know. Keep on trying what I have. Then I'm gonna go in with a Smart, which is this like dark color. Ooh, this one looks, ooh, that's, that's not that bad. Okay, the blendability in these are like, non-existence. I don't know if it's just me, but it doesn't exist. So maybe the blendability doesn't look that great just because the transition shade wasn't that great and like that's really what determines how your shadows are gonna blend and apply and look. So I mean it's not bad. I feel like you could probably use this but I would never just travel with this alone if that makes any sense. I'm gonna try the shimmer shades see how those look. Mm. I think I'm gonna go in with proud. We're so proud of this look. That's not bad. Guys, that's, that's, that's not bad at all. Okay, well, they're like not the best. I'm also gonna mix courageous just because. Oh, that one's popping. But there is a lot. A lot to follow. If you're gonna use this, I'd recommend doing it before your foundation because there is a ton of fallout. But I do that anyways for the same exact reasons because most palettes do have fallout, but mm. I'm going back into smart. Try to fix it up. I mean, it's not gonna get any better than this. So I wouldn't personally buy it. So the next thing I see is this. Hmm. I don't know if y'all could see that, but that's a little bit. But it's probably from like the traveling, but you can easily just wash it. And I'm sure if you shape it correctly, it'll just be just as normal. Honestly, this brush really reminds me a lot of this one. It's a little bit smaller and this one's a little bit more dense, but I feel like you could use it for the same purpose. Like I feel like, oh, it's so soft. Honestly, I really love Lexi brushes. This is the Rose Gold Pro Precision Tapered Face Brush, and it's from Luxie, and this is retails for $24. Next thing in the box I see is this. This is called the Diamond Glow Powder by Artist Couture, 
and retail price is $26.99. Honestly, all of these have been more than the box already. So even if you just like one of these items, that's like good enough. Guys, so this is like a highlighter. It looks like gold champagne colored. Um, it is a loose powder, but it's cool because you can close the top so it won't look like it won't like spill everywhere or like come up all on the top. So I think that's a pretty cool thing. Boy, I am shook. <sighs> but it is very glittery. It's like really fine glitter. So if that's not something you're into, I wouldn't recommend this. But honestly, it looks so wet. Like when I look myself in the mirror, even on the viewfinder, it just looks so wet. All right, so the other thing I see in the box is this Ofra lipstick. Long lasting liquid lipstick by Ofra Cosmetics is $19.90. Basically, almost the price of the box. These lipsticks don't really like dry down, so they will transfer, but they go completely matte. So, let's try it out. I don't like the color, personally on me, but it's it's a great formula. So I'm gonna quickly go put on some lashes and mascara and I'll be back. Alright guys, now that I've quickly put on some bottom liner and some lashes, honestly I don't really hate the eyeshadow as much anymore, but I didn't like the shadow. Now we got that out of the way, the last thing in the box here is... This is three sheet masks by BioBell Cosmetics and retail price $14.97. This is honestly so great to have. I always love having like sheet masks. Who doesn't? Like who doesn't just love having sheet masks? And I'm not going to try these out on camera, but if you guys want to know how they worked, I'll probably leave a comment down in the description when I use them. But yeah, 10 out of 10, I do recommend this box. Sometimes things aren't that great but then a lot of the times so much of the stuff is great like I love the three sheet mask the diamond glow powder was spot on the long lasting nuka lipstick not my color but right now that it's going down it doesn't look that bad honestly and the rose gold pro precision tapered face brush I would I would probably end up start using the only thing I didn't like was the eyeshadow palette so Four out of five, I think those are good odds. If you got this box and you were wondering how things worked or if you were gonna like them or how to use some things, like maybe hopefully this helped you. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. Boxycharm is subs <laughs> Boxycharm is subs I can't talk. Okay, I'm gonna go in with, I can't open it. It chipped my nap. But you can close it. Okay, I'm done.